Hi, my name is Henry Gisber and I'm the project manager here at MSC Supplies. We are a leading supplier of high quality inorganic chemicals, single crystal substrates, battery materials, silicon carbide wafers, and other semiconductor wafers. We also offer a wide variety of powder milling materials, ball mills, planetary ball mills, roller ball mills, and all of the media that you'll, and jars that you'll need for that. Today, what I want to talk to you about is our Utile Precision Glass Cutters. Um, these are very high quality, uh, very well manufactured, and they will allow you to do some precision glass, wafer, and substrate cutting. Okay, we offer several sizes of the um, Utile Precision Cutters. This is the 100 millimeter, substrate cutter 200 millimeter we offer all the way up to 500 millimeter uh, substrate cutters they come with the materials that you see here you do need to purchase separately magnetic substrate holders of different we have different sizes and the different c cutting wheels we have di carbide cutting wheels and diamond cutting wheels the different uh, cutting wheels are for different thickness substrates such as 0.5 to 1.3 we have, can go all the way down to 0.05 and all the way up to three millimeters so depending on what you're trying to cut and the thickness of the material you will have to choose which uh, cutting wheel makes sense for you all right so after you re receive your Utile precision glass cutter and unpackage it, you're going to need to install the cutting wheel. To do this, go ahead and slide this back, remove the guide rod, rotate this to the left, all right? You'll notice that everything, all the blues are lined up. First thing you're going to want to install is this black washer. This is going to be your scale marker for when you're adjusting the tension for cutting. Next, you're going to want to install your tension spring, your tension scale. It's all magnetic, so it's not going to just fall off. And your cutting wheel. This is a standard thin carbide cutting wheel. So this is good for materials that are a half a millimeter thick up to 1.3 millimeters thick. Okay. So go ahead and install that with the writing towards you. Just push it, make sure everything's locked in place. Go ahead and rotate the entire assembly 90 degrees so that the hex screw is showing back here in Grab your Allen wrench or hex key and go ahead and tighten. There's no need to herk on this. Just tighten, snug it up. You can replace your hex key. Rotate this back 90 degrees. All right. Drop it down. Insert your guide rod and go ahead and slide it back into position. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate cutting a piece of glass. This is just regular soda lime glass. All right, we're gonna install magnetic guide to hold our material in position. Glass is almost too long to cut. All right. Now, install the second magnetic guide. This is gonna keep your material from moving. All right, so once you get everything into place, lock down. You wanna adjust the scale to the thickness of your uh, material with this top screw. Adjust your tension according to the typical cutting pressure for soda lime glass and a carbide laser. Our carbide cutting tip should be about 
are one point five, so there. And you adjust the tension by turning this lower knob. When you're ready to cut, rotate this into place. Grab and drag. Rotate. Slide the assembly back. Remove your magnetic substrate holder. You can see the scribe line. Now, from here, you can just grab on either side of the, the cut and it cuts right, breaks right through. And that is how you use your Utah precision glass cutter. So that is how you use the Utah precision glass cutter and wafer cutters. We have everything that you need on our website. Please come see us at MSC Supplies. If you like this video, like us on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing. Bye.